What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige at the Page, and today we're going to be doing my 2023 goals review. Welcome to this video. Today is my next video in the Pages of Chaos series where I'm wrapping up at 2023 and just wanting to talk through all the things with you. Today we're going to be looking at the goals that I set for 2023 and if I completed them or not. I did do quarterly check-ins for my goals throughout 2023 so you may have some idea of where we're up to but I just want to talk through the things because oh my god we did a thing. So the first thing that I wanted to achieve was my Goodreads goal which I set at 52. Well exceeded that. I ended up reading 164 books. My pages goal was 50,000 and I ended up reading 55,058 pages. I kept it at 52. I didn't ever up it throughout the year so I never felt like I had to be reading. The pages definitely pushed me forward and I'll leave a link down below to my yearly stats and review but there's an interesting comparison between 2022 and 2023. So I I'm very happy with what I've read. My second goal was to complete or be up to date with 23 series. Originally it was 20 and then we decided to up it to 23 series in 2023. I did it. I completed 20 series in 2023. Quite a few of them were the second books in a duology or trilogies, so I didn't have much further to go, but I'm so happy with what I did finalise off. I also got up to date with 12 series. I'm, I'm just, I'm shocked. Some of these were the first book in a series that have come out and I'm now up to date, but they're on there, they're, I'm keeping track of them, and I did 12. The total for this goal was 32 series that fulfilled the criteria. 32! It's flipped! There is no fucking way I'm going to be repeating this in 2024, but holy shit I'm impressed. One other side thing was I wanted to complete the 2017 and before, and then I was mostly focusing on the ones that I already had on my shelves. I scrapped that halfway through the year. I did end up finishing the 2016 and before, and I only have three books left in the 2017 year to be able to have that wrapped up in its entirety. My next goal was to read at least 12 big books. I read 28. I am so happy. I go into the breakdown of what they were in my year in view as well with wanting them to be continuations of series. So my reading went exactly how I wanted it to. I think there were 12 books that were continuations in series and six were the final books or eight and caught up with two that were all over 500 pages. So. I'm so happy! The next one was Bookish Peeps Control My Life and I did this. I did everything. I read every book. 2024's year is going to be fucking chaotic as shit. This was so much fun and I'm so thankful to everyone that was involved with picking the life and the books for me and I had such a glorious time. My next goal was to finish my rainbow shelf and halfway through the year I forgot that this was a thing that I had said I wanted to do. I thought I had said that I wanted to read half. Which I have done. I've read six out of the 11 that were remaining. <laughs> so I still have five left. I did fail this goal but I'm also not mad considering the fact that I actually forgot and I did make an active effort. I swapped out some books and unhauled and shuffled it around a little bit so now that the five that are left I am happy to get to. I haven't got to them obviously. Two are continuations in series, two are standalones and the first is starting a new series. My next was to stay on top of my book or revisited and I did that. I am so proud. I have so much fun seeing everyone vote every month on the books or being able to do a giveaway if I have read all of the things. So I just, I love this so much and I'm so happy that Completely Melanie did their version and I could adopt it into my channel because it's just so much fun. Then this chaotic demon decided instead of reading 45 books across their 2020, 2021 and 2022 book hauls, we were going to up it to 52. With the goal being reading 15 from my 2020, 15 from my 2021 and 22 from my 2022. Well, I ended up reading 64 books across those three book hauls. 19 were from my 2020 book haul. I hit my 2021 just, it was 15 smack bang done and dusted. And then I read 30 books from my 2022 book haul. So I'm happy to be chipping away at those numbers and I have my goals video with what I'm wanting to be doing. When I filmed that goals video though, I didn't have the entire stats. 
So I have set that I want to read 40 books across the 2020 to 2022 range. I'm sort of just happy to see how it falls because of where my numbers lie, but I thought 40 was a good amount. And then I said that I wanted to read half of my unread 2023 book haul. And I don't think that's a realistic goal. Just seeing the final number is 33. So I would have to read... 16 books on top of the 40 to be able to make this happen as well as staying on top of my 2024 book hauls plus reading older things plus a lot of the things that I have on my bookish peeps don't I don't actually own so I'm thinking of changing it to need to read 11 so it brings it down to 20 uh, and that just makes it a little bit easier for me to be able to navigate so I just wanted to throw that in here because I realized I didn't have the final stats but I will talk about it in my entire unread TBR as well but for the 52 I succeeded that I am so impressed with how I managed to get it all down this year the subsection to this was that I only wanted to spend a hundred dollars a month on my book buying and I definitely achieved that because I only spent $404.85 in the entire year. What the fuck? I'm so amazed. I then also had a 50% read to unread ratio by the end of 2023 for what I had accrued. I accrued 67 books and I had 34 read, 33 unread by the end of 2023. So I did manage to achieve this goal. I have no idea how. I'm assuming it was because everything I bought, I bought with intentionality or most of the things I bought with intentionality of I have a purpose for this. This is going to be read in the next so many months and that really worked. I was very impressed with myself and the way that it all came together. Then to be able to reduce my TBR, I wanted to read two books off my shelves to be able to put one on. And I did sort of give myself the leniency of reading the books that I was bringing in, still counting towards that for the most part. And so by the end of 2023, I had read 118 things off of my shelves. So I could have ended the year with 59 unread books and I ended it with the 33. So I just... Ah, to be fair, if I factor in the fact that 25 or 26 of the books I bought, I've read in 2023 out of the read amount, there's like eight books that I'd actually bought that I'd already read. <laughs> We're going to keep an eye on that for 2024, but I'm just really happy that I did manage to succeed in that. I also wanted to do $1 for every 100 pages that I read off my physical shelves, and that ended up equating to 47,600 and something pages, so $476, which was... I did the thing. I read more than I purchased and I'm so happy with that. Just seeing how I was having an existential crisis in the midway point of the year to now, it just, it makes me so happy. My next goal was to read my May extended self-destructs. So I have my self-destruct videos are a hybrid so you can vote for them to stay if the 12 months is up but I still wanted to read them so I had Broken Things by Lauren Oliver, Boy Erased by Gerard Connolly and Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. I ended up finishing Broken Things in December of 2022 so it didn't roll over and I have read Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks in I think it was February and have since unhauled it and I have read Boy Erased by Gerard Connolly. I did it! <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen and then I needed to, it must have been in November for Movember and I was trying to listen to audiobooks and I just couldn't get focused so I put it on and holy shit, I loved it. So I'm very happy that I managed to do this goal. And then the final challenge that I had was one off my scratch map. I ended the year with three. So I ended up reading The Secret History, Flowers for Algernon, and I finished off the Amber Spyglass, which is the last in his Dark Materials trilogy. So I actually haven't scratched it off yet. I forgot that that was on my scratch map. So I'm gonna do that and very, very excited to have ticked off three once again. There was three last year, and I think there were two the year before, so we're actually making progress. Not quickly, because it's a hundred books but we're getting there and these are books that I don't normally gravitate towards so I'm very very happy. The 
next section of my goals was community events. So I am a host for Bookstara and for last year we were reading through the bone season and I did manage to keep up to date with that. I read all the things that were needed and we had such a grand time with this series. The next was Buzzwordathon hosted by Books and Lala and I did complete it in its entirety and I managed to read entirely off my shelves for this challenge which I was super happy with. Not applicable for 2024. I don't have three of the buzzwords on my shelves but I'm very happy. The next was TBR Knockout and again I wanted to focus mostly on my shelves and I did for all bar one. So there are 24 prompts and the fact that I did 23 out of 24 being off my physical shelves and the 24th one was actually a book club so it was for a purpose as well so I was like yeah this is great and I managed to achieve it all. I then had Gerbertathon by Hannah from the Lit M. I did it! I managed! I managed to get there! There was some severe stress in December of I need to read these four books, this needs to tick for this, this, this and this, and we are going to make this happen. But I did it! I completed Gerbertathon, I aged up from a baby to an elder, they died, I never named my sim the entire year, but I did it. And I am so proud. One thing that I noticed was I was actually picking up a lot of non-fiction because of this. I ended up reading 11 non-fiction and to max out a sim skill that you need 10 and I leaned a little bit more into translated fiction as well. The only skill I didn't max out was logic. I think I had 5 out of 10 which was translated books so it's definitely curious to see where my reading goes and how it's influenced by the things that I'm doing. Then I had Read Your Bookshelf by Chantal Reads All Day and I did do this. Everything I did read was from off my shelves and I was just so happy making everything mix and match and I just had so much fun being able to combine all of these challenges in a really interesting way trying to make everything fit. And then my last community event was to participate in Aurelium which is created by G from Book Roast and I managed to learn how to shapeshift into a phoenix. I didn't know where I was going and so I sort of let my reading decide in September and I was either going to fulfill the prompt or I wasn't so I ended up going the dark academic route and then just went down there and let my reading decide where I wanted to go. So <laughs> that's how we ended up with this read and I'm very happy with it. Then the last section of my goals was my channel and mostly I wanted to focus on collaborations and involvement with you guys and honestly I feel like I really did well this year. I don't think it was perfect because I didn't get back into lives until quite late in the year mostly because <laughs> my setup did not allow for it and now I've got a better setup. It feels so much easier to be live again and to be able to just do whatever I need to do. So I definitely want to, I'm not going to say pick up more lives because I actually am going back to full-time work in 2024 but I would like to just throw one in every so often just to say hello. Responding to comments and commenting on other people's videos was shite. I did get better at it towards the end of the year but still not great. I think that the community that we have built and the way that I can really message anyone and the community that I made in the Sufferathon group just makes me so happy and I did get very teary <laughs> in my year's review looking back on all of the things that we did accomplish so I'm not gonna cry again but I just really appreciate having the community that I do and the subscribers that are here and the lurkers and those that just check in to my videos every so often even if they don't subscribe I appreciate you being around and I really do value this community so much I think that I'm definitely not everybody's taste. I don't intend on making it big. I just want to be here, have fun and continue that into next year. I think focusing on trying to make everyone happy was never going to work for my channel. <laughs> I've got to have fun. You guys want to see me having fun and doing chaos and trying to complete the things and just enjoying the experience. And so I really think that that I nailed and I'm excited to see where 2024 goes. Again, I didn't have a subscriber goal. I just was like, well, if we hit 2000, like the channel's growing and then I can have an existential crisis and we hit 2000, so I'm having an existential crisis. But the subscriber goal is never something I, it's not that I don't care, but it's never something I want to strive as an active goal. I'm never going to change my content to be trendy. Like there's the in and out things and I'm like, I should be doing this. The things we're going to take into 2024 is chaos because that's no that's what I know how to do. The things we're leaving in 2023 is people pleasing and stressing the fuck out of myself for zero reason and not actually having fun with what I'm doing. There you go, there's my trend. I'm an acquired taste. I appreciate that 2,000 of your fuckers 
acquired my taste and seem to like it. Thank you. These goals always are just a way of holding me accountable and really the only goal I genuinely care about is my bookish peeps because it's just so fucking crazy and chaotic and making sure that I'm happy with what I'm putting out and that you guys are able to come here and have fun on my channel. That's it. That's all I care about in the grand scheme of things, but I do have to admit I'm so fucking proud of being able to check off all bar my rainbow <laughs> goals for this year. Not gonna lie. I'm impressed. It's the chaos. But, you know, these goals are completely arbitrary. They're, they're things that I set for myself for shits and gigs, but the ones I genuinely care about are the ones that my friends are involved with and my community is involved in. And really, that is purely just having fun and creating a safe environment that we can chat in. So. I think those goals, I nail. Those were all my goals that I did and one that I didn't, but it's okay. <laughs> I had such a weird year and I'm not mad at it. So let me know in the comments anything that you want to let me know, whether it be in regards to your 2023 goals and if you succeeded or your 2024 goals or just the fact that you're a vibing and having a good time vibing. You know, you don't have to set goals. I'm just doing this because it's fun. <laughs> but yes, anything you want to let me know, feel free to put it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye. I really feel like I should change this from if you'd like to see more of this mess to if you'd like to see more of this chaos, feel free to subscribe better. Maybe next year.